a big part of it has to be people abandoning this idea that you're going to have any success in the algorithm. They've somehow they've somehow created the <laughs> same exact dynamic they created in the real world, which, you know, yeah, yeah, they yeah. do in many ways. No, where it's... people just think they're they're going to blow up mm-hmm. and get however mm-hmm. many thousands of followers. It's like I think I've said a version of this before, but it's like we've now completely replaced the idea of like capital with just with social capital. It's like people think that 250,000 followers necessarily translates to money. But like to put it in perspective, Jabuki was my roommate when he had like hundreds of thousands of followers. <laughs> like it doesn't we mm-hmm. we lived in the same apartment in fucking Bushwick. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything, mm-hmm. you know, and that, like, that online capital. Yeah, so it speak. doesn't mean shit. It doesn't translate to shit. And we're we're making I mean y'all are making content i don't really post anything on there like that but like people are making content with this idea that they're like the next one's gonna be my gonna go viral and i'm gonna get all these followers and everything and it doesn't mean anything you're gonna get your golden ticket charlie you're gonna get your (laughs) algorithmic golden ticket charlie right let me tell you something like (laughs) like i'm so extremely online it feels like i'm walking around like the chernobyl fallout site like (laughs) every day like yeah. I am, I feel like a radiation cancer, like, like burn in my head mm, every yeah. day because yeah. I'm so online because I almost feel like it's, it's partially an addiction for sure. Yeah. But the other part of it is I can't look away. There's just too, I'm just too, yeah. I have, because to me, like wh- whatever I am. Part of it is someone who can just look at what the hell is going on and at least package it and say a thing about it. Yeah. And the more I see, the more I like start to, cons- I like, I start to be able to be the canary in the coal mine. Cause like there's days where I feel like I'm literally on like the front lines of this algorithm you're talking yeah. about. Cause I see it. My eyes are like this close to it. Like I'm looking yeah. at it this close. And it's like between TikTok, all the apps, explore page shit, the AI art, like it is going so fast and it's so shaved down to just the bare, like just silhouette of whatever the thing is that content is so divorced from it. And it's like, I'm at least like a somewhat like aware person. Whereas most people are not aware. Most people, the majority of people are not self-aware people. Yeah. Right. And not in a malicious way. Yeah, they just yeah, yeah. are not. It's yeah. hard to be. Yeah. Um, it's hard to have the space. There's a million reasons yeah, of course. why yeah. people are yeah. not self aware. But most also, of them are not. And I swear to God, it's like moths to the fucking flame, all this shit. Yeah. yeah. And right. it's like it's horrifying. It really yeah. is. I I mean <laughs> I just wanted to apart apart I I, I don't wanna like I don't wanna be weird about it, but like a part of me wants to like I think it's important that you specifically are saying that because you're someone who, you know, your TikToks go viral regularly. I mean, like you've generated objectively millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of views and impressions over the the last two years or so. And it's like, we're still like wage slaves. It's like we're all, everyone yeah. in this room is still a wage slave. Oh, let me yeah. say, it's like, it's like, like, I have well, absolutely just like your Jabuki right. comment. I right. have no idea what my reach is. Yeah, absolutely right. couldn't tell you. Right, no idea. I could be a, a little YouTuber. I could be a TV star. I have no idea what range, where in the range I sit. In but terms just of to yeah. Yudoi's point about it does not like it does not that does not no. trans. No. And I'm like, yeah, Connor is like exceptional on in, in terms of like the metrics and the the stats and all if you just looked at the numbers it's like holy shit and we know other people who are like this mm-hmm. but and but they're worse off than you because they're still it's like they're yeah. they they're like literally like a fucking zombie yeah. for this shit that ultimately isn't going to deliver this mm-hmm. like you're not yeah. going to get this fucking first of all the entertainment the corporate entertainment industry as it w- works today it doesn't work the the way that some of these people think it does it doesn't work that you have millions of followers and what it's actually like the 
a lot of the that it could it's almost irrelevant it's like almost entirely irrelevant actually yeah like it is. They, the people people <laughs> oh, will say that. people will say oh like you know if you are uh, auditioning or whatever it like gives you that edge or something and i and i definitely think that's true but also the other the other side of the, the coin is like especially when you're deep enough in the entertainment industry you have enough r- relationships you know it works off of talent skill and and then social connections and relationships and so i'm i'm saying this to say that for people like you and others who have these sizable platforms and can consistently go viral it's like there has to be a a collective recalibration and reassessment uh, around that and understanding it as a a, just another uh potential point of distribution for independent creation right, that's yeah. how it needs to be understood not as a pipeline to this exploitative these yeah. exploitative legacy institutions that you know that's a fucking crapshoot anyways you know it's like it's, it's gig yeah. economy entertainment oh yeah it is. right that's yeah, yeah. exactly what it, it needs is. to be understood is it's like, like no you're not gonna get a job or be discovered we're gonna keep you internship famous like it's an internship yeah. of fame it's yeah. like you're not getting paid yeah. but you, you get to say you're on TikTok. You get to say you're you're verified. Yeah. You get you're that. You're one of the oh, most whole... well known peasants in our field. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. You're you're at the this top of our peasant, of the our peasant <laughs> leaderboards. Do you know that? <laughs> right. Yeah. Some Hunger Games <laughs> shit. <laughs> he harvested. Connor harvested the most radishes. <laughs> <laughs> he gets yes, an extra bag of the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He tilled the yeah. most turnips this season. Right. 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 <laughs> right. I'm like, right. donate, right. guys. I'm going to be straight. Right. Streaming, scything wheat out of the right. field later. <laughs> please donate. Please, yeah. please. Right, right. Uh, fucking right. lives. Uh, right. Oh, hey, God. Uh, hey, commit. <laughs> please, please, please. Thank you. Please, please. please. No, and then hey. it's just clearly someone's like PC, this fucking screen on their PC. Right. No, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> two things. One. What like completely <laughs> the mermaid that was the, oh, yeah, the, I got the, I got the funniest the part mer- the mermaid the tongue the tongue yeah, yeah, yeah. the tongue yeah. the uh, so you know so you know what's happening I uh I promoted a TikTok of her. you did I did you said what I put po- I they promoted got your ass. I promoted it. they didn't get me I I knew what I was getting into <laughs> I saw the option I was like let me just see yeah what it let does. me see what this yeah. does mm-hmm. uh I put like ten bucks into it I was mm-hmm. like well, let me see what this does. It had maybe five, six hundred likes when I started. Mm-hmm. And then over the next, over the course of two days, which feels like a long time, it went up to like two, 2,500. You're welcome, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, TikTok. TikTok. And, but no comments, mm-hmm. no other no, type of okay. engagement, no sharing, nothing like that. And I, mm-hmm. I thought about it and I clicked and I was just like, they could just raise the number. There is no obligation for them right. to act for this to actually reflect the number of people that like this video. Oh yeah, and that just completely snapped me out of any desire to like to have success on that app. Yeah, I think because I don't like, know if we've talked about this on the show, but like TikTok followers does not equate to Instagram. If I had yeah, seven hundred thousand no Instagram followers, I would not be working. Right. Like I would we would have never met. <laughs> we would have. I'd be fucking like, yeah. I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd, I'd, you're an influencer at that point, but yeah, it's similar yeah right. to, to Vine, TikTok is similar to Vine in yeah. the sense of people are a little bit more loosey goosey, like with what they're yeah. following. They'll more yeah. impulsively yeah, right. like something. To I do that now. Right. I'm like, well, hey, can, hey, if you made me laugh and I see you yeah, follow me, I follow time. you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You right. can follow accidentally you follow people on TikTok. Yeah, so it's not no. as much of like this investment. No. Instagram, in, like yeah. people live on it. Like Twitter, Twitter's really hard to get followers too. Um, For you. <laughs> for you because i feel like on twitter, twitter is, the, is the thing that i know the most about yeah to, to me twitter yeah. it's like there is almost no reason to follow anyone on twitter like that's yeah. how i feel mm-hmm. unless it's like really dope yeah um mm-hmm. it could be the funniest tweet you've ever read and you'll just be like ha! anyways oh yeah the funny like, <laughs> the most funny. viral tweets on t- especially in the last few years the most viral tweets on on twitter are people with like 300 followers. Right. Because <laughs> right. like something about something about that app, and it's part of why TikTok is so entertaining is that people hate watching like professionals do the thing that they're professional at. So like if you're a comedian on Twitter, people fucking hate you. Right. Like right. they're 
<laughs> like there's so much vitriol against comedians. And this is not me complaining. I don't care. But like there is a there's so much vitriol on Twitter. Yeah. And TikTok is like it feels like it's built on people that have no intention of ever being in entertainment. Mm. Right? Yeah. Like that's right. partially why I like it. Is yeah. It's right. like it's, it's like, like it'll be a really funny guy that just works at like a a car dealership or exactly something. it literally it's, represents zach's ethos on comedy which is sort of like the funniest people are yeah, not even they're not right. comedians yeah. they're right. just yeah. like whatever so it's like it kind of yeah. the cream rises to the top if you're a funny ass motherfucker yeah. un- intentionally or not people are gonna see it the yeah. cream and <laughs> also <laughs> my favorite the, the crap the crap yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dirt yeah, yeah, yeah of course no my, my favorite comedian is vince staples <laughs> yeah exactly like, there's, you know Patrice O'Neill had a quote about that. He was like, yeah, I used to be so funny before I started doing comedy. Yeah, like that's it, fun. In the green room. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. That shit is real, bro. Zalooper's also I think it was on the green funny room. as fuck. Yeah.